but I did want to start off with the, uh, the 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 DT stuff. If I'm being honest with you, mate, before we move on to the the football, um, he's back. Um, he a lot of people are angry about. It. Let's start off with that side of it first. He's back. A lot of people are frustrated. A lot of people are angry. Also, a lot of people very supportive around. He's done his time. He deserves a second chance. Uh, what's your take on it, mate? Go on, mate. He's been, he's been in jail how many times? I don't know. Well, he sat on the Happy Hour podcast telling the, the, the fella on there that he's been in jail before. So he's had his second chance, right? Third chance. Well, how, many, how many more do you have, bro? Like, come on. Like, seriously. Like, come on. Like, bro. I, I'm not Robbie's biggest fan. You know this, yeah? But, mm. mate, I didn't see no receipts. I didn't see no evidence to suggest that any of these conversations had. So what do we do? Believe somebody who's been jailed multiple times. <laughs> Show me receipts. Put it out on the screen. Oh, this was a conversation I had with Robbie where he said this, this, and this. Right. And the, do you know what the sad thing is? He's salty. Right. And he's salty. Right. Because Robbie gave him a character. Oh, but I thought he was my friend. Yeah. Good job. You ain't paid to think. You'd be dangerous. Yeah. Real talk. Yeah. He, I thought he was my friend. Well, he spoke to you on New Year's Day. You said that in the video. Or maybe that was a lie. I don't know. Yeah, um, he gave you a character reference. But as soon as it starts affecting Robbie's business, he's got to cut ties. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. Yeah, if it was the other way around, he'd do the same. Bro, the guy's a hypocrite, man. But we've known this for a while. Um, he's calculated. He's a repeat offender. I wish him no luck in life. And listen, you're entitled to that opinion. And listen, I know a lot of people agree with your stance. I've read a number of responses in his. I, I watched his video earlier today, mm. and a lot of people saying, "Welcome back. I'm, I'm glad to have you well, he here." Deleted every negative comment, so the whole comment section looks like it's a love fest. It ain't because he's deleted all the all the bad ones. I've got screenshots people were sending where they put a comment in at 139 likes. I'll show you them. 139 likes, and they got deleted. It ain't there anymore. Yeah, one sec. Yeah, I'll show you. There's one here. Here we go. Yeah, watch. Watch this. That comment right at the top there. Yeah. Robbie did not commit the crime. Yeah. He isn't an accomplice, so don't be blaming him for ditching you. Liam, you are not the victim. 139 likes, 16 comments. That comment ain't there anymore, mate. Yeah. So now it looks like a total loving. The guy's an absolute wrong mate. Yeah, it's well, an absolute look, I, 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 fair, I, I, a fair yes, play. Right? Fair play to have the audacity to even come back. Yeah, but if he was really remorseful, he wouldn't have said anything about Robbie. At, like, at the end of the day, he was saying Robbie had basically threatened him. Well, it could be worse. He could have threatened a woman. Like, real talk. Well, yeah, this, this, oh, this, Robbie threatened this, me, really. Oh, Robbie threatened me. Mate, Robbie was paying you to do a job. If you didn't like doing that job and you wanted to go and do your own version of that job on your own channel, there was nothing stopping you leaving like I did. Yeah, look, That's I think... It. No, I, just, I understand where you're coming from. I, I think from, from my point of view, I, I as a general rule, I believe in redemption. As a general rule, I believe in people getting the opportunity to turn their lives around, not commit offenses again. I, by the way, Terry. No, I know you do. And there's a handful of there's a handful of offenses people can commit where I, I, I do write them off. And they're the very, you know, cold blooded murderers, people that, you know, uh, you know, things against women and kids, you know, we're not going to go into too much detail, you know, se huge sexual assaults, rapists, pedophiles, mm. etc. Of course, I, I that I have no time for. I do believe people should be able to turn their lives around. I do believe that people should have the right to work. I do believe that um, in, 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 in the rehabilitation as it's meant to be right. That's the, the, the yeah. whole, whole idea of that circumstance. I suppose it's how people view though, making, fan content because some people view it as a privilege some people view it as a i know you're in full flow right if you actually have a look at what the guy done it's out there on the government website bro to get on the government website in the first place it is mad yeah it's up there with the job seekers it's up there with the income like all of this it is actually mad to be on the government website and it will never be deleted off the government website right so it's out there for everyone to go and check right when you actually read what happened Bro, that is up there with the things you just said that are not acceptable. Now imagine that that is your mum, your sister, your niece, yeah? Your cousin, your aunt. Not only that, you're on social media where there's a load of young, impressionable young men. 
right? And bro, I think it's mad that he's actually even got the balls to sit there. <laughs> Right, straight out a couple of months ago, or six weeks ago, wherever it is, and go, right, how can I get back in there as quick as I can and make a, an instant impact? I know, I'll cuss Robbie. Yeah, because that's a massive channel, that'll get loads of views. I've, I've got a decent sized channel. Bosh, I'll put a video out on my decent sized channel, cussing off that one, yeah, in the hope that Robbie might reply and I might get even more traction. But it now totally diverts away from what he actually done. Yeah, and like I've said before, this ain't the first offense for this guy. Yeah, he's openly admitted on the happy hour podcast that he's been in jail before. So that's not a lie, because unless he's lied that he's been in jail before, he's definitely been this time. And now he's accusing Robbie of stuff without any proof of that. And now everyone's going, Oh, you're so no, well, show me the proof then. Otherwise, we're just blame like, we're gonna sit there no and, and yeah, agree yeah, yeah. and take the word of somebody who's actually been in jail a few times for some mad crimes. No, so, and, and look, and this, this was the point I was alluding to. You know, I'm just trying to build it up and give people an idea that there, there are certain things that I don't personally, I wouldn't personally forgive. And when I look at the situation with DT and the things that he has done and the things that are documented out there, now I know he has said, and I actually think he's right in this, where he said that he isn't going to be talking about them online. And I think he's absolutely right to. Not only was there a victim at the heart of it, that victim, as he stated, is the mother of his children. And he shouldn't be online or in interviews or doing anything where he's dredging that all back up again for her to see or his children to see now or in the future. You know, he's, you know, I've met his, his eldest son, I met all these kids, but I met his eldest son. That's not for any of them to be put through again. So I actually agree with him on that. It's this notion, though, of should he be allowed to make content? Should he be allowed to work? And that's where I have to be honest with everybody and be really truthful. I'm I'm torn on the idea of permanent cancellation. And the thing is, you can't unless the, the, the networks block him. And I don't think the crime he committed is a violation of their rules, it, whatever it I, may I'm be. I'm not too sure about that. If I'm honest, Terry, I, I'm actually not too sure. I I, 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 I I don't know. I'm just well. The point I'm making is though, it's hard to cancel. People are saying cancel him in the comments. You can't mm. cancel someone that people will go and listen to unless the platforms take their plat unless YouTube takes his platform away. He can't, mm. he can't completely be cancelled. Will any sponsors or any brands or anybody be working with him moving forward? My my view is no, not in the foreseeable future. I can't imagine any would be doing that. Is mm. he gonna have big YouTubers? Big you now when it comes to the next North London derby, are the big Tottenham creators gonna be collaborating with him? I very much doubt it. So I think he already is to a certain degree. And what you probably will find is that there's people out there reporting him. There's people out there sort of in YouTube are probably not aware about what he did. Let's be absolutely honest. Oh, 100% with you. Not. So when the, they are, I think there's so an they, issue so, there, mate. Well, the, oh, the point is, what they might end up doing is, is allowing him to keep his platform, but say, we're not going to play adverts on your videos because the adverts are played by companies that pay YouTube and due to what you did. So that is what will probably happen to him. Yeah, as soon as they find out what he's done, I think he's... Yeah, he's, so I, I think that pe I think it will yeah. I think it will run its course and it will do it, it will do its oh. thing. But on the Robbie side of things, I think for me, I don't know whether it is true or not. I haven't asked Robbie about it. I'm not going to ask Robbie about it. I think for me, though, it was almost a case of, I know maybe he feels shunted by things maybe he feels that that robbie and aft you know he's slamming AFTV and he's slamming robbie on i know he kind of said i don't have an issue with them but if you don't have an issue with them then i don't think there was any need to Sorry, the, this guy's a calculated bring... guy you've met this guy multiple times yeah i used to go home and away all around the world watching football with this guy i know how he works right this guy sat there for 18 minutes absolutely sending an assault on robbie and this channel and this company is brand whatever you want to do with no proof of any of this happening at all. He could have sat there and put the screenshots on of the conversations they had, but he didn't do that, did he? Right? So now it's hearsay, right? But the, he did that because now it totally takes away from the fact he is back online after what he'd done, right? I haven't seen a Robbie reply. Now, let me say something about Robbie, right? I'm not his biggest fan. I would always be grateful that he gave me a chance to go on his channel. Yeah, I chose to leave after the whole Claude incident. Yeah, and um, I explained that on my show I just did with Rance, right? And this guy's sitting there saying that he felt threatened that if he didn't, um, he, he didn't, he wanted to go and do his own watch alongs on his own channel and this and that. Yeah, okay. And Robbie threatened, basically threatened him. He said, "Okay, mate. So why don't you leave? Because well, he's openly admitted there wasn't a contract. So why didn't well, you just say actually, I'll tell you what, mate." 
Yeah, well, this is, the one, this is the one thing I want to say about that, because Mark Goldbridge got stick for the same thing a few years ago, because people were saying that he doesn't let people do watch-alongs and be part of the United stand. And my view is... Fair play. Fair play, because without the United stand, there's, there's certain content creators that have come through the United stand, come through AFTV, uh, you know, come through Redmen TV, that without that big platform to begin with, the combination of their talent and personality and that big platform they are now doing things that, it, that potentially they wouldn't have been doing without that platform. So as good as the likes of you, uh, Troops, DT, God Rest is So Clawed, Ty, are communicating and talking about your club for one reason or another, without AFTV's initial uh, projection of you into the social media world, maybe, just maybe, some of you wouldn't be where you are today. And that's oh, why I think... And and that's, and that's, 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 let, me, let me just finish. That, that's why... I think it's wrong to call out AFTV for turning around on this particular incident. For me, Robbie's absolutely right to say, listen, we want you on these shows. I, I'm, I'm sure they were being paid for those watch alongs and when it really it developed, was. you know, during that time. You've been paid to do this, but I don't want you making content that competes with what I'm doing because my platform is growing you at the same time. Let's work on a happy medium. And that is absolutely fair. And I have similar agreements with like KJ is actually a full-time employee of the football terrace. That's a little bit different, but he isn't going to go and, and, and do a match reaction with a rival channel at the same time that I'm doing a match reaction for a particular game, because right. not only has he got a, a job with me, there's also an element of like respect there. These things shouldn't have to be said, by the way. And I will say this to content creators. If there's a channel out there that's growing you and helping you become a household name, don't shit on them by working against, working against them and, and working with competitors. For me, Especially I don't like that behavior. I think that's wrong. Know. Especially if you're being paid to go. Right, so he was paid to do his watch-alongs yeah, on Robbie's channel. I was paid to do watch-alongs on Robbie's channel. I've been paid to do them. Me, I, I did the Europa League final that everyone keeps crying. Oh, 200 profit yeah. for loss and all that rubbish. I did the semi-final. I've been paid to do watch-alongs for a World Cup on there. For the opening ceremony of the Russia World Cup. Yeah, I got paid to do that. Yeah. So Robbie appreciate. Well, well actually, I'm going to I don't have to be there. I can go and do something else and upload content here or be it a game. And this person, I'm going to pay to do this and we can still get content here. It goes hand in hand. That also helps me get out there. It also helps Robbie get views whilst he's not even on camera. So it goes hand in hand. Right. And if you don't want to do that, like so when I left, I was do, just doing fan cams. I was living around the corner from where I live now and I was just doing fan cams. It all came to light about the Claude and Troops thing. Yeah, and I'll, I'll say it again. Yeah, I text Robbie, I text Tao, I text uh, Troops, and I text Claude, all the same message. I sent it to all four of them. Yeah, I said, I don't think either of them should have been kicked off, but if one goes, they both go. You can't keep one without the other. That's what I said. Yeah, right. Troops text back, said, sweet, no dramas, bro. Claude was like, whatever, cool. Yeah, Robbie and Tao were sweet. Yeah, and I said, I don't want to be no longer part of it. If you're going to keep with your decision, that's your decision. But if that's the case that Claude goes, and troops don't. I don't think either should go. Yeah, I don't think it was that bad what either done. Yeah, yes, it was silly from both of them, but I don't think it's a, an offense where you should kick one and not the other. I said, but if you are going to stick with that, it's your channel. Good luck and all of that. But I, I don't want to be a part of it. So I left. Yeah, I didn't have to leave. I could have said, oh well, actually, okay. But then I snaked my friend. Yeah, and I chose my friendship with Claude over going on that channel, and then I continued to do my own thing anyway. Right. So he could have done the same, but he loved the the adulation. Bro, I've been at games with him before where he just barges people out the way trying to get into the fan cams for move, move Man City at home. Four days after the League Cup final that we lost, we, we lost it um, against Man City at home. 20,000 fans in the ground. Go to Turkish's fan cam. You can hear fighting and arguing in the background. Somebody was punching him up because he was move, move, move. And somebody just started. What do you mean move? And started whacking him up. Yeah. And like. This, this is the problem. The guy had a massive chip on his shoulder because of that channel. And he thought, and he even said it in the video he did yesterday. I was the main content creator. No, you weren't. You got the most views, not the main content creator, mate. You got the most views. No, yeah. and look, and, and, I, and I get where you're coming from there. And look, what I'll say is this I, you know, something I saw his video today, um, where, where he obviously speaks about you and the things that you've said. And he said, yeah, and he said, <laughs> and he's, no, and, and, and look, and, and but look, I, 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 again, what I will say is this what he said in that video is right. He needs to move. People are going to speak about him, and we speak yeah. about and, and we react to content creators all the time. And him being back is a big thing for our industry, so of course, it's going to be discussed. But he doubt now need, he does now need to move on from it. He said what he said, 
I very much doubt that Robbie is going to reply. Why would or should he? I don't think he has any need to engage I do, I do. in this. Go in on, the, in this either. But what, what DT's got to do now, this is all DT's got to do. He has to prove he's changed. And how you prove you change is by talking football, is by not re reacting, have a conversation about what people have said about you, as we're doing now. But no, like he can't be showing any made crazy aggression online. He can't be calling for people. He can't be threatening people. He can't be doing any of that because then it will undo the apology and the I'm a changed man and I want to move on with my life. So he's got to move on from that point. And I think if he does that, with the way a lot of people have responded to him, he will have an audience. He will move on. Maybe YouTube will demonetize him, but I, I don't think, I personally don't think that they will. And he gets, to, he gets to move on from there. And look, if he does turn the corner, if he doesn't reoffend again, if he does, if he has changed, like if he has, then fair play to him because that's what you're meant to do after receiving a punishment and everything mm -hmm. else. But it's it's one of those things where the jury is going to be massively out on it. And I still know there are a lot of people moralistically that think that, that the companies like Instagram and YouTube and whatever else should de-platform him. Um, and everyone's going to have a difference of opinion um, on that.